So today what I'm going to do is make a condensed video of doing manual brews on the Pico C. Um, if you want a more in-depth uh, description, I guess you could look at videos number one and two. It's a two-part series that I did. This one's going to be a little more condensed into one video. So what we're going to start with is I did a rinse cycle through on the machine just to make sure everything's clear. I'm now going to put my grain, and I'm not going to get into all the measurements and so on. I'm going to put my grain into the step filter. And what I've done is put the hops cradle to prevent the bag from clogging the, the out port. I'm just going to dump all of the stuff that kind of filters through the bag in there. And then I've measured out five liters of water into the brew keg. And what we do is we pour this over the grains. And just to give a quick overview of the difference between a Pico Pack and a manual brew, what happens with a Pico Pack is the brew keg becomes the pot that you prepare your wort in. In a manual brew, the step filter is your pot. So in this case, we're going to use the step filter to do all of the grains and hops. So, actually, you know what? So now I've prepared the grains, put them in the step filter, attached the lid. Now I'm going to put them in a machine. And I'm going to go to, I'm going to exit out of the utility since I'm done. And I'm going to do a manual brew. So the hoses are connected per the instructions. I'm going to go to the next step, which is to um, fill the step filter with water, which I did, five liters of water. I've inserted the step filter. Now what it's going to ask me to do is put in the directions for, oh, actually I got to put in the distilled water first. So that's going to go in the top. manual brew. And what it's doing is it's priming the, the pump and the steam generator and then it's going to ask us to put in a time and a temperature and per my instructions I'm going to set the temperature to 147. And I'm going to set the whole time To zero and this is just to get it up to temperature and I'm going to start the step. Okay so we got up to temperature so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have it maintain that temperature for one hour. So I'm going to hit target temperature I'm just going to leave it at 147. Hold time. I'm going to set to one hour. So that's our mash time. Now I'm going to start the step and what it'll do is it'll maintain 147 for an hour and then we'll be back. Okay so we finished our one hour at 147 so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the grains. And this is hot so we have to be careful and we're going to prep this to add our first hops addition and then it's a one hour boil with the first hops and a 10 minute and 10 minutes of that hour will be with the second hops so what we're going to do is we're going to set the machine to 50 minutes at the boil temperature we're going to add the first hops and then once that 50 minutes is done we're going to add the second hops and finish the last um, mash out at 170 degrees for 10 minutes. So when that's all set, after I finish draining my grains, adding it back to the wart, we'll pick up where we left off. 
Okay, so I've drained my grains. I've got all the wart back into the step filter. I've added my hops number one bag. And what I'm gonna do now is set the temperature to 147. So I'm just gonna hit enter. I'm going to set the hold time, which is gonna be one hour. I'm sorry, so it's gonna be 50 minutes. And then after the 50 minutes, we're gonna add the hops bag number two and then we'll go another 10 minutes at 170 degrees. So the machine has stopped. We're now ready to do the second hops addition. So that means we need to take it up to 170 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this step filter out. I'm gonna add our second hops addition. Add the top back on. I'm going to place the step filter back into the machine. Just making sure that my strings are there so I don't have my hops packets get pulled into the pump mechanism. So I'm going to set my target temp at 170 for the mash out. I'm going to set my hold time for 10 minutes. Start step and we'll be back when this... So it looks like we finished our 10 minute second hops addition. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be transferring it to the keg for cooling and then pitching the yeast tomorrow morning. So at the this kind of concludes this video, shows you how to do in a condensed way the manual brew cycle on a Pico C.